Well, we have heard from him before, a mysterious tipster who now claims the Oakland County child killer had accomplices and may be responsible for 60 murders in Michigan and other states. 7 Action News investigator Bill Proctor spoke by phone with a man who won't reveal his identity and just goes by Bob. Bill, what proof does Bob have to back up his claims? Well, once again, he's not talking about or showing proof, but it's the first time that Bob, who refuses to meet with reporters in person, has named the people that he believes were murdered by as many as 13 men between 1969 and the early 1990s. In fact, he says the suspects randomly chose their victims near American Legion halls located near the intersections in the highlighted cities where the teens were in fact abducted. Their bodies were later placed in locations where they were easily discovered or dumped so their discovery would be delayed. From Ascota, where two girlfriends ages 15 and 16 went missing in October of 1969 to the four well-known killing victims in southeastern Michigan here, the targets of decades of investigation to other victims found in Ohio, Nevada, and California. Bob gives the names of 14 victims. In one case, a man confessed to that murder, but Bob says that he just may be an innocent man who is disturbed, and he, in fact, gave that confession. Now, Bob has turned this document, this one here, over to federal officials. It also has been given to the Oakland County prosecutor, Jessica Cooper, who has dismissed Bob as bizarre. Bill Proctor, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Bill.